Hi, this is Steve, K8BZ. Welcome to my ham shack. And today I'm going to demonstrate using a packet radio VHF to HF gateway. Uh, I'm going to do it two different ways. One way is using a node, and the other way is just using digipeters to digipete from one band to the other uh, to make a longer distance contact uh, to a, a full service BPQ station. Uh, I'd like to kind of describe the equipment that we're going to be using here first uh, today. And we'll come over here and take a look. Uh, on the VHF side, this is going to be the VHF radio. It's a Kenwood TS-2000. It's operating on packet on uh, 145.09. Uh, simplex, that's the packet use frequency here in uh, central Michigan. Uh, the TNC is going to be a CAM+. Plus. Uh, this CAM Plus I bought new 21 years ago and it is still going strong. Uh, uh, you'll see uh, a lot of flickering there. The, uh, the green bar there is the uh, HF uh, tuning indicator. Uh, for the HF side, uh, we're going to be using this ICOM 7000 and it is set up on 20 meters uh, on 14.105. Uh, and that's the uh, 20 meter packet frequency. You'll see it's 14.101.59 uh, uh, operating upper sideband and that puts us on the uh, correct uh, packet frequency for 20 meters uh, working upper sideband. So the TNC is interfaced a dual port TNC. Uh, the HF port is down here to the uh, uh, Kenwood TS2000. Uh, that's the VHF port. The HF port goes up here to the ICOM 7000. And then uh, the uh, packet information is going to show up. Whoop, the screensaver just came on. Packet info is going to show up over here, uh, but I'm, I'm not going to record that with the camera. I'm going to use a screen recorder. So this just gives you a rundown of the equipment and we'll watch what goes on on the screen as we make these contacts and I'll describe what's going on. Okay, we'll describe what's going to happen here. Uh, I'm located in central Michigan and uh, I run a packet uh, station here on VHF and on HF during the day. And if there was another packet station out here in the local area on VHF, if they wanted to, they could connect to my node and use that to cross-band connect on HF to any station that uh, that could be heard and uh, uh, have propagation between us. Uh, right now, there's just some monitored packets showing up on the screen. Uh, so let's let's turn the monitor off for the time being. Monitor off, so we won't monitor any packets we're not interested in. So right now, I'm going to connect to my own node as if I was another packet operator out in the out in the local area. Uh, this is going to be on VHF. I'm going to connect to K8BZ-7 via the digipeter W8GDW. So there we are. Now I'm actually connected by radio. This is not an internal connection. So this is just the same as if some other packet operator connected. So now while we're connected to my node, I can use the J command to see what stations have been just heard or heard recently and it's going to return a list of stations. Now this is, all of this data is being uh, digipeted by W8GDW. <clears throat> all of my uh, commands are transmitted to W8GDW. He digipedes them to my node and they come back to me. Now this list of call signs will show you what port they were heard on, whether they were heard on the HF port or the VHF port. Uh, the station we're interested in is uh, KE0 Golf Bravo, uh, and he is listed there, KE0 Golf Bravo-1, that's the bulletin board. So if we want to connect to them, we're not going to use the connect command, because it, if I use the C command, uh, it would look for him on the VHF port. But we want to find him on the HF port, so we use the X command. So we're going to use the crossband uh, connect command, which is the X command. So we're going to and we're going to connect to attempt to connect to KE zero Golf Bravo dash one. Now that's going to 
send it to the Digipeter on VHF back to my node, then my node is going to attempt to make the connect on HF and there saying it made the connection. Now uh, pack it on, uh, on VHF on 2 meters as at 1200 baud. On HF it's only 600 baud so things go a little slower plus it's digipeting through a digipeter. Uh, so it's the data doesn't come up on the screen as fast as it would on a direct connect on 2 meters which would be very fast. Uh, but at any rate it uh, recognizes my call because I'm registered with uh, Rick's uh, bulletin board in Colorado Springs and it says I have one message so I can do a list mine and it will show me the message okay so it shows there is there is a uh, uh, a message for me on the bulletin board. Now I'm not going to read it just now. I showed you how we connected via a node, so I'm going to send the B command and disconnect. And I'll show you another way this can be done by using a digipeter uh, instead of the node. Okay. Turn the monitor back on for just a second so we can see something here. I'm going to send the I command, which is going to send an identification packet, and then I'm going to turn the monitor back off. Uh, this is my own identification packet. The line here will show you my call sign. R is just the keyboard or radio call sign. BZ is my digipeter. KBZ-3 is the call sign for the for the gateway digipeter. So if you put as a digipeter in your path, if you if someone put K8BZ as the digipeter, it would it would receive the packet on either band HF or VHF, and it would digipeat that packet on the opposite band. So if we want to connect to the same bulletin board, uh, KE0 Golf Bravo dash one, we're going to do it via W8GDW, and then via KBZ dash three. Now the other time we did it using my node, this time we're just going to digipeat cross band. So again, this is going from uh, from one uh, band to another. I'm going to record some of the uh, radios here while this is going on too. See that just went to transmit on HF. That's, if you can hear it, that was the uh, packet on HF. Now there's lots of other activity on the frequency here on HF right now, so all of these packets that we hear on HF aren't necessarily mine. Okay, so this time we're going to read the message. So I'm going to I'm just going to type RM for read mine. And we'll enter that. And I'm going to I'm going to record some of the uh, radios here while this is going on too. That just went to transmit on HF. That's receiving a packet now on HF and transmitting it back to the digipeter. That's receiving a packet now on HF and transmitting it back to the digipeter.
Okay, so there's the message. Uh, let's uh, delete the message. We're just going to do the kill my command. And we will disconnect. Send the B command to disconnect. And there we go. And that's a demonstration of using a VHF to HF packet gateway, doing it two different ways, connecting through a node and also connecting using a crossband digipeter. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video, 7-3.